What's crackling, everybody? I'm Grandmaster. Welcome to Dwaros. So this game is a like third-person kind of type of game with a colony simulation and colony builder, and it's all, it's like a multiple combination of games together. It's really cool. I like the animation, the artwork of it. I'd seen a video, and I actually did try to make a video already once, but the audio was so crazy loud that I actually had to adjust it. So hopefully it'll be much better this time. Uh, but we're gonna go into a new game. Uh, so we have our town name, it's going to be uh, Toasty, and then the village name, uh, the backyard. Alright, and then we can name our people, but I'm just going to keep them the names they have. An old keep remaining from a failed settlement attempt still stands in Duskville, a valley within the luscious and plentiful Duskin woodlands. The wood elves began the new settlement with the old keep as the base of operations. This backyard has been given the name of Toasty. <laughs> they await the arrival an expert team from the Royal Company of Colonizers to assist them in recolonization. I believe we are that royal colony. Okay, and there's like a book that tells like a vague story of what is all happening in the world. It does seem to take a very long time for it to open up. But it does tell us a little bit about what's happening. It's the little green dudes. I assume those are like the wood elves. Long time ago, the Wee Wood Elves had a place that they called home. It was the only place that they ever knew. Until one day, a disaster forced them to leave their homeland. With nowhere else to go, they wandered the lands of others in search of a new home, finding ways of adapting, working, and living peacefully with the people who hosted them. But still, none of them, none of this was ever truly a home. With the Wood Elves now spread across the world, they needed a home now more than ever. Do -do -do. The High Elf Queen Sol Solatia, I think? I'm not sure. Solicia? I'm not sure. <laughs> a great leader who ruled over an enormous commonwealth saw the plight of the Wood Elves and her skillful diplomacy to strike a deal with people known as the Naboo. Naboo had lots of lands and forests to spare that they were just the right for the wee wood elves okay so i think we are them but i'm not sure not those two like we're a different group but nonetheless maybe that's these guys i'm not sure like they look like they look different than them like these are the wood elves the green people because they're the ones you always see in the background the naboo were happy to welcome the wood elves at the new neighbors for the Wood Elves, who were naturally good-natured, had created a shining reputation for themselves around the world from their travels. Queen Selitia <laughs> knew the colonization was tough work for people who had been wandering for a long time, road weary and surviving, would need some help. I I'm going to slaughter names. It's a thing. So the Queen enlisted her best team to the task. With their combined ingenuity, worth work ethic, and prosperity. Prop propensity? Propensity? Man, why is my brain not reading? It's not even that late in the night. For kindness, they were set to take on the challenge. I think it would help if I had glasses on. <laughs> there we go. Dwaros. I think, so yeah, this is, uh, this is their little castle that was left behind, a keep or whatever it was. Butterfly. But yeah, I mean, this, this game looks, looks amazing. Like it's very vibrant and everything on colors, and it seemed like the world was going to be pretty big. So I'm definitely, I was definitely intrigued. And those are our three characters we play as. So you can actually swap between the characters, each one has their own unique thing that they do. Which I, I think is an interesting take on things, you don't see that too often. At least I, I don't see that too often. Queen Solitia, my royal subjects, if you are reading this letter, we are then pleased that you have arrived safely at the Dusk and Keep. Within our very vast empire, there are no explorers or colonizers more noble and capable than the three of you. I don't know why the R's are shaky. It's very strange. We are a compassionate queen. The time has come, long come for the wandering wood elf refugees to have a new land of their land. Land of their own. Sorry, I looked up at him. We've claimed the Duskville Keep. Built and abandoned in a previous colonization attempt with a proper treaty from the native Naboo peoples. We have gifted the Wood Elves with the keep and the rights to these ancient lands so that they can rebuild and salvage their culture. Each of you were chosen for your own unique talents and skills. 
together. You have the ability to explore, gather, and build. All of these skills necessary to conquer the foreign land and help the Wood Elves restore their own way of life. Professor Mooney, with his archaeologic archaeological knowledge, will assist in understanding this land, ancient land. And Mayor Shtick, which is an amazing name, <laughs> will help with recolonization efforts. We thank you for your efforts and wish you luck in your assignment. Her Majesty Queen Celicia. Celicia. I'm just gonna say that. I like that one. I think this is our first dude, Mayor Stick. Hey, you made it. Boop doop doop doop. Yes, we have made it. I want to play. Come in. Step into my office. Let's talk. All right. So yeah, this guy is like the gatherer. And you can see like resources up at the top right-hand corner up there. And our tools down the bottom right. Outstanding. You've arrived. That's fantastic. On behalf of the Wood Elf Nation, I'd like to welcome you to Dusk and Keep. A mayor's chick. Pleased to meet you. Listen, I'm a doer. Do you know what that means? That means I like to get things done, and I think you do too. You strike me as a doer. That's outstanding. Let's get to it. Let's get to business. Our first priority is to make sure the wood elves arrive in toasty backyards safely and have a place to live. For this, we'll need the whole team. Professor Mooney has given us these artifacts. They're an ancient technology we don't quite understand, but I'm sure nothing bad will happen. They're called talk rocks, basically walkie talkies. You like that name? I gave them that name, it's great. Professor Mooney and I have each have one, and we'll be able to communicate with each other at a distance. Did I tell you that? That's what they do. <laughs> Alright. According to me, yeah, we can communicate. It's basically so you can just talk to everybody and get your you know, missions while you're out in the field. Let's wrap this up. Take these to your colleagues. Start with getting Gloria her talk rocks. She looks like she's at just outside my office. Thanks for coming in. Okay, so... She's right here, the other dude's right there. Uh, give talk rock. Now we're playing as her. Hey there, it's Mayor Stick. I see you got your talk rock in one piece. That's outstanding, glad to hear it. Let's get to it. I hear you're great at fixing things, a real master mechanic. Would you do me a favor? Yep, so that's our hammer. We have, like, repair capabilities. Climb up to the castle tower over there and fix the broken beacon using your hammer. It will come in really handy. With anyone gets lost in the forest, they can look up and see the beam and they'll know how to get back to town. Great idea, right? I thought of that. <laughs> we'll talk some more once you're done, thanks. So I basically need to go up there and fix that thing. Bust out my hammer. It's back here. Yeah. I don't know if this thing does damage. Can I break these? No. Can I push them? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Can I break these? Yes, I can. Give me all the goodies. Honestly, yeah, before I go away, no, I'm gonna break all these. Because I don't see myself coming back up on the wall anytime soon. That's super hops. Does that, does that count as breaking it? Some of them have stuff in them, some of them don't. I saw some of these in there in her office. I should have started breaking those with the other dude. Alright, but yeah, we gotta go up here. We gotta fix this thing. And so I think this is like the builder person, basically. Like, that's really all I know that she does is build and repair. So, I mean, I don't feel like this, this character's probably gonna get used a lot, but I don't see this character ever really needing to leave. The actual, like keep castle area so my guess is they'll probably just stay in here because you can scroll between them oh I can't right now I don't have the ability I have to go through the tutorial first but you just scroll between each of the three characters rebuild this thing real quick six percent at a time good god all right there we go all right it's all said and done Repair with, yes. <laughs> I think I'm still telling me how to do it. I already repaired it. So we can see that from a distance and just know exactly where we need to go, even though there is a map. Outstanding, you did it. Listen, that's really great. Thanks a lot. Come in handy for the townsfolk when they arrive, and also for you and your companions when you were out in the woods. Foreman Ike has been looking around for you. He would like to go over some schematics with you for the new town structures. 
head over to the drafting table and have a chat with Foreman Ike. So this is like where we, where the uh, mechanics of, actually before I leave, I'll break all your stuff. But that's, that's basically like the mechanics of colony buildings come from, is right about there. Break this thing, there we go, got all that. And it's, like I said, this is pretty much the character, it seems like. It's going to be in here focused on this. Hey, how's it going, boss? My name's Foreman Ike. We don't need no chit-chat. Let's do what we're good at and start talking about building, eh? We're going to need to have some of that, what's it called, infrastructure ready for when the people start showing. What I hear is there's already lots of them camping out in the woods waiting for us to get to work. Let's build one of those tents in, a, what's it called, the uh, garden plot for farming. We got your blueprint drafting table all set up the way you like it, so you can give the orders to where to put the structures. But uh, we're gonna need the resources to build it, so uh, let's talk to let's get this. Let me just talk rock that big burly fella, cause I hear he's real good at that stuff. So we're going back to this dude. Yo, it's Foreman Ike here, working with your buddy Gloria. We're gonna need some stuff before we can start building. Can you do us a solid and use your wood axe to get us some coley trees? Thems are the ones with the white barks you see. Best woods in the forest. <laughs> and use your pickaxe to go up mine gold. Finally, use your pickaxe again to mine stone. 240 wood, 20 stone, 170 gold. Thanks for the help, boss. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start breaking some more of these. Cause, I mean, we already have 30 stone, 60 gold and such. Can't you go? I think I thought you could go up to piles. Maybe not. That I could gather from. If there's piles around. I'm pretty sure you can gather from them. Maybe not inside the castle. Okay. Open switch. Go out here. Toasty. <laughs> so yeah, there's a map though. It is a very large map. Looks like there's areas over here. Big old here and there. I don't know if this will eventually open up or not, or if that's just how it is, but I mean, it's still a pretty big map. I imagine it may end up opening up, just given the way that that looks. Okay, no, you're attacking the wrong direction. Okay, there's more gold over there, there's rocks over here. Give me all the rocks! Give me all the gold! You're getting both at the same time? Yeah, it's going up by 10. Stop attacking. I let go of the button like two seconds prior. Got to get all the resources so we can just get all the boost. Alright, and the trees. One of the things I do like is the trees when they fall down. They actually fall down. Like, it's not just like they just disappear or something. I don't, I don't know. When a tree falls down, it makes it much more satisfying to me. Rather than just like the tree just go poof and it's gone, or the tree just never going anywhere. I mean, it's not too often I really can say that I've seen a full, uh. The point that they've just never. Like, the trees don't come down at all. Great. Those are the resources we need for now, thanks. Oh, but I wanted to get more. Now that we have the resources we need, head over to the drafting table and show me what you construct the first tent and toasty backyard. But I don't want to. I don't want. I want to get all this stuff out of there first. All right. And so there's industry, market, farming, housing, environment, entertainment, community, education, government, military, and miscellaneous. So we have like this little area. Well, looks like we have like this huge area back here, this huge area back here, and this like small area here. So I think I'm just gonna plop it down right here, right here. Oh wait, no. I'm gonna do the farm. Mmm. Can I rotate you? How do I rotate? Q and E? Actually, I don't know if there's any resources back there. I guess let's just... Yeah, let's put it right here. Why not? Don't take up the gold spot. Oh, there was trees there! No! It just removed the trees. Now that we have something to grow food and a few beds to sleep in, we can invite a few more people into town. If you find anyone out there, be sure to invite them in. Hey there, it's me again. Spoken with Gloria, and she seems like she is set up and acquainted with Foreman Ike, but I can't seem to get a hold of Horror. Listen, I don't mean to micromanage, 
but have you given him his talk rock yet? I think I saw him bring in some firewood at your campfire just outside out of town. Just, just outside in town. Mind getting it to him now? Thanks. You're the real star of this operation. Couldn't do it without you. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if we... I don't think we do anything with the farm. I think the people do. But I don't know 100%. So we gotta give the thing to this dude, who looks like a hobbit. Give Talk Rock. Hi, Horver. Professor Mooney is looking for you. He's heard what a storied treasure hunter that you are, and excited to work with you. Do me a favor and pay him a visit, will ya? He won't stop asking me when you're coming in. So yeah, this guy is like... Oh, I don't even have it yet. He can sprint, but also has like a treasure finding tool. Oh, you're Horvath. I would know your face anywhere, big fan. My name is Professor Mooney. I am the foremost leading expert of treasure acquisition and identification. I'm really excited to show you an artifact we've already found and identified. I've studied it with zealous curiosity while you and companions were on route here. So yeah, this thing basically detects stuff by glowing red when you're going the right way, turns white when you're going the wrong way. This wonderful little doodad is a bona fide treasure direct detector. It is difficult for me to use, and I dare say, if you possess the athleticism or keen instincts for such things as you. So, go ahead and give it a try. See if you can find anything. Boop. So yeah, basically, if we're going the wrong way, it goes blue, blue, and turns red when you're going the right direction. So we need to go out into the forest. Kind of just uh, figure out where exactly this way. Okay. Red, you're somewhere nearby. Okay, and it just shows up. Alright, grab you. This is about as far as I'd gone. So now, pretty much from this point on, it's unknown to me. But, splendid, you found something then. Gold, the mayor and the foreman will be absolutely thrilled. This will surely help in building efforts. Couldn't help but overhearing. I'm thrilled and also, I overheard everything. <laughs> what I mean is, I was listening in. I'm glad everything is doing well and that you know how to use the treasure diviner. I gave it that name, by the way. Listen, I've already contacted your companions and we've agreed that we all need to come in for a meeting. Meet us back in my office. No, I just want to play the game. Why does a baker sell yeast? To raise dough. That's that's uh, pretty bad. <laughs> that's a joke. A little humor for you to break the ice. The Management 101. I wrote the book on that. It's great. I'll sign a copy for you before you go. Let's table that for now and let's talk about why I called you all here. There's a cave not far from here if you follow the path. It was all walled up with giant rock, but we were able to blow it up with the bomb we imported. Very expensive. As Professor Mooney expected, the cave is not a natural formation. It looks like an ancient tunnel. We haven't gone inside yet because it might be very dangerous. Who knows what's down there? That's why we're leaving it to the experts, you three. But I realize that you just arrived and this is all very sudden. I understand that you may want a chance to stretch your legs and explore around a little bit. You want to gather resources, build some town structures, or look for treasure. That's all great too. And if you come across any campers out in the wilderness, be sure to invite them to join Toasty. All three of you should have the folder that I made up for you. I'm such an A-type personality. They contain all the info that you need to go about your business. Be sure to check these out. Whenever you're ready, head out to the cave with no rush. Okay, see. What? Okay, this is like our central area. Transport companions here. Oh, so I can just basically call them here from wherever they are out on the field. That's cool. Except I, I haven't gotten this far. Basically, was like I got the treasure chest and I had to stop for a minute, and then I like looked at the video later, and it just did not work. It was way too loud on music. Select a location to transport to. There's not really any place I see that I can transport to. Oh wait, no, that's just a marker. So instead, if I follow the path. Takes us to some sort of thing. I don't see any kind of cave. There's a town there. 
Maybe over here? I don't know. Okay, we'll do nothing right now. I'm just gonna change to... I'll change to her. I have a little bit of wood and everything else still. Need more building homes and stuff for people. Break the pot. Nothing. Nope, oh, there's more back here. I just, I just want to get a bunch. Free resources. Alright. Anything else anywhere else? Not that I see. Nope. Okay, so industry-wise, we have a workbench. Gold cost minus two, stone cost minus two, and wood cost minus two. I mean, that kind of seems like something that'd be worth it. Market. Gold interest. Farming. Workers of four. Okay, so I see what it's saying. We need more housing is what we actually need. So, let's put up two more tents. Can I put up four? Yes, I can. Hi, it's me again. I'm starting to see a lot of tents out there. I mean, it's great that you're building homes to live in, but we're not going to be able to be reaching five-star town rating with those. We tried mashing together some design concept in the drafting table. Let's see bigger housing arrangements. Maybe something that's two times better than a tent. With four times the living space, I'm not sure how that math adds up, but it sounds right to me. Anyway, that'd be great. Keep it up. Good work, team. What? Is that the design? What do I do? Oh! That's perfect. Can't wait to see the new structures in action. Cool? I actually didn't know about that. Can I do the same thing with this? No, that's locked. Okay, can I do this? Public bathhouse? Nope, doesn't seem to be. What about this? Nothing? Oh, outhouses? What if I do a double outhouse? Give me a better bathroom? Alright, well, whatever. I uh, no, 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 I want to go back to build. I feel like that's something that we'll probably need. Restroom, simple and effective solution. No, it costs 100 wood, so we don't have enough. Okay, so let's go to our gatherer and go gather some stiff. Like, that's probably the best option. Then I can also get all the gold that's still right here. I'm pretty sure there's trees here, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. I guess I should probably actually hit the, <laughs> hit the gold to get it. All right, give me all this. Give me all this. We have a good amount of gold. We're going to need more stone and wood, though. This guy doesn't have a sprint. That's the that's one thing I find weird. Is It's like, only the one guy has a sprint. Which seems... I don't know. It seems strange to me. Like, why would you only have one person have a sprint? I don't know. He's more of the exploration one, I guess. But... We're definitely going to have... At least, I think, a healthy amount of gold. Do I get... No, nope, it looks like it just all at the same time. I was like, do I get extra for when it finishes? Like this, when the tree falls, it just spits a whole bunch out. Not a whole bunch, I lied. A little bit. I mean, I guess 30 wood, still 30 wood, but it's not that much. Okay, give me the last of that. Assume these, like, bigger trees will give me more? I don't know. Can you give me more than the smaller trees I was just chopping? Like, there's these big giant trees, but I can't do anything with those. Yeah. No? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, no, maybe so. I <laughs> have no idea. <laughs> A little bit more of this, though. More stone, and then more. I'm gonna get some more trees. Try to tell her to build a few more things. There's supposed to be camps out here? I don't think I ever saw any, so I don't know how common those are. It uh, looks like there's some sort of building thing over there. Oh, I was like, I think I see a camp now, but no, it's just gold. 
I like how I can attack, or while I'm doing that, I can just look around, see exactly what's around me to get next. I think probably going over there be my best bet. I don't know if I, I have to stand there and collect them. I want to go running off. What the heck? Yeah, there's like a whole thing over there. Alright. Jackpot. I got extra. You can only hold 500 of each, too, which kind of sucks. A little bit, I feel. I should go hold more than that, then I just go out and gather a crap ton. I just build up a crap ton all at once. So better houses. I assume it's four. She was talking about four times. The amount. There's more rocks there. I wonder where that cave is. It's as if I follow the path. I guess I did not follow the path. I just wandered off into the woods. So, yeah, they did drop some. Oh, because we're maxed out. Apparently that's what happened. I just got a twigs achievement. Not sure what for. Maybe because I maxed it out. Look, there's people right here. Oh, I keep holding I keep holding shift to sprint, but you can't. Is that the cave? No, this looks like the cave, but it's different. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna get this while I'm standing here. I'm gonna go over and talk to the townsfolk. Oh wait, there's still more? God, I got it all. Can I not get jackpot out of those things? That makes me sad. Oh, four people. I mean, it's perfect to have four houses. Well, thank you for the invitation. We'll leave for Toasty immediately. Nice. Oh, fantastic. We have our first citizen. Keep them coming. Townsfolk can be monitored from the civilian tab of the overview menu. Focus attention on getting your town rating up. We're a one-star colony. This must rectify this before the annual conference of adamant mayors, or I'll be the laughing star. Objective is to earn five star, but let's start by earning two star. We need to find more people to join the right buildings and construct in order to increase. Quality of life, economy, and culture. Town rating is found on the overview screen. Okay, so this is our overview. Grounds? I don't know what that means. Okay, so quality of life is right here. So I do need restrooms. It's actually saying that people are having a hard time finding restrooms. Uh, I guess let's uh add some restrooms in. We only have a limited amount of area to place this stuff. Can I rotate? I don't want to rotate my camera. Nope, it just moved it. All right, well whatever. It is facing the right way. I'll put two down. I feel like that's probably good. It gives me room to... I'm gonna build one more of these, too. Right there. That way I can put a pathway down. I know I saw him. Where was it? Environment? Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Fancy path made from stone. Increases town folk movement speed by 50. This just takes 10 gold. This... Yeah, let's just do that, because it only takes gold. The other one takes more. Okay, so you guys have that pathway. There we go. Where are our houses? 240 wood, 180 gold. Quality of life of five. No space for a basic bathtub. Okay, how many people does it hold? I don't, I don't know. That's the other thing. How much does this cost? 200 wood and 50 gold. So I need more gold and I need more wood. Switch back to this guy. I imagine there's got to be more gold and wood and stuff out here. Yeah, right. there's a bunch of gold right here. Looks like there's another camp of people too. I just don't have any place to have them live. Sorry people, you aren't invited to the town. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. What's that? Like a big old building right here. Give me the gold. I'm gonna go check it out. So we got 50 gold from that. There's a treasure chest up here. Can I walk up this? Yeah. Nope. 
How do I get up there then? Maybe I have to use a different person? I don't know. Oh, repair lady. Maybe the repair lady. Maybe she can actually come out here and repair stuff. I didn't even think about that because she was repairing the destroyed stuff before. Okay, there's a door. <laughs> nice. Assume that opened the door down there. What is this? Scroll of transportation. A scroll scribed with the in with an incantation. When read aloud, the scroll will transport the user to any select location. The scroll is imbued with enough magic for a single transportation. Okay. Oh, wait. Is this timed or something? What the heck? Excuse me. Okay. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I just got a timer right, I guess. Nope. Okay, so once it goes in there, I need to jump. And now. Nope, just knocked me off. I want to use this to like, get over there. Oh, I could just straight jump on it if, it was, if I was fast enough at it. All right, and we jump now. That did not work at all. I don't know. Can I slow down time? I feel like this is not the character for this. What? What did that do for me? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I need to bring the repair lady out. So there's lots of little puzzles all over the place, that's cool. <laughs> so I'm not even sure what anything is at this point, and it's great. I always love games like this. There's a, There was a dwarf game I played not too long ago, where you built up a whole city. But you only played as one character and switch it around like this. Can I get the bunny? Bunny! Oh, I have to stop to attack, so I'm not going to be able to ever get him. So there's another cave wall, but you can't get in. Are you guys just going over to another here? Well, this is another thing. There's so many of these. There's so much stuff to explore. What's this about? Oh. Didn't expect to actually be able to jump up that. Hey, give me all the gold. I don't know if I can just talk to these guys and have them... No, they're different. That's the wood elves. Who are these guys? I want to buy some land for my family and I, so I sought out Nabu named Surveyor Runip. All I had to trade were crowns, though, and he just wasn't interested in trading for that. Find some other way to earn land it shouldn't be too tough. Whoa! Oh, is this so I can fast travel now? Sweet! It's cool, so I can get the... I can either call her here, or I can just have her hop on the platform and see if maybe she is... That's, that is who I need? I don't know. I'm sure there's a chest in here too. I feel like there's gonna be more things that we can unlock as we go. What the heck are these? There's so many crazy things all over the place. I don't know what any of it is. What's up, dude? Do you have something special? Oh, Surveyor. Well, hello there. My name is Surveyor Red. I must say, I did not see you standing there. You were an odd looking wood elf. Well, perhaps you're not a wood elf. My eyes are not very strong, so I find it hard to tell. I was ordered out here by the leaders to negotiate land trees with Toasty. I must say, though, our ideas of currency and valuable goods don't necessarily mesh. Our village is devoted to a life of peace with our environment, spiritual to us. We try to make as little of an impact on our land as possible, so a lot of material goods that Mayor Stick have been offering is not very appealing. We try to convince her to help us find sprites, in place of gold as payments, but she kept insisting she didn't have time or for metaphors. I don't think she can see them. Ah, you say you're a part of the colonization effort of Toasty then? Perhaps you can help. Help us help you. Help each other, you know. Sprites are ghosts, but please don't be afraid. They're friendly and childlike. Very good natured sprites are very... that are lost and aimless in the woods. We see it as a duty to the shepherds of the land to care for them and see the paths to the afterlife. 
This is very important to us as we believe them to be lost souls of Naboo people like us. If you could bring me 20 sprites, I would most certainly renegotiate our treaty and officially sanction the expansion of Toasty. We'll give you and your companions a churn charm to wear. These charms are attractive to the sprites, and it will force them to temporarily bind themselves to it until you can bring them back to me. Fair warning. They'll probably fly all over you first, which tickles. Okay. Now the word to see the spirit realm and see the sprites to wander about. Sprites are also attracted to the charm and will gladly dive right into it. Cool. Like so. That's cool. So now I got something else to gather. I just got an achievement. I didn't even see what it was. It's more focused on the sheer factor that I got like a little ghost critter thing flying into me. Very peculiar. <laughs> Whatever. Right, I need 200, I think, for the bathrooms. Or not for the bathrooms, for the washrooms. Like, I don't want to call the lady over yet. I want to build up a little bit more to the city. Uh, Chop this tree down. The big tree. Give me lots of wood. Alright. And this one. 240? Yeah, we, actually, we should already have enough. Give the last tree. I don't see any other ones really close to me. I don't see any ghosts either. So now we can just all see ghosts. So I need 20 of those and it expands. What the heck are all these things? This is weird. Anything else out here? More gold? Oh, hello, what? Oh, okay, I saw the exclamation mark. I was like, what, what? Can I actually do something? No, it's just a bunny. Just a bunny. Does this give me enough to give me to 400? No. I just want to try to get it as high as I can so I can build as much as I can all at once. More stone. Get you to 400. I don't see any more wood out here. Oh, no, there's a tree right there. I say that as I literally see some more wood. I guess the treasure hunter dude, he got a bunch of gold and everything. I could take him out, too. That's the wrong one. So you can, uh... Um, I... Yeah, I'm gonna just do this. Go back to you. So you can... Farms... I don't... So it feeds four people, I think. Or has four workers. Uh, we have bathrooms, wash house, right here. So this adds three quality of life to our area. Uh, it takes two spaces, though. No, I didn't mean to cancel it. I meant to rotate. I feel like having that near the, <laughs> the fields is probably not the best place for it. I guess I could yeah, stop it. Rotate right there. Yes. That's probably all I need. That's uh, 240 wood, so I need a little bit more wood. Toasty is boring nonsense. Let's give the people something fun to do. I'm really bored. I'm really bored. I wish there was more to do in this town. I wish there was more. Well, you know what? I don't know what to tell you. I don't have a whole lot. Need more wood. A whole bunch of trees over here. Try to build something more entertaining, but we don't have anything more entertaining right now. I mean, it's just that there is the combination things, but I still don't fully understand the combination. How exactly that helps me? <laughs> okay, I tried com I tried combining things. The tent, it just kind of just did it after it was sitting there for a second. I don't know if it needs to sit there for a certain amount of time or what. Another tree over there if I need it. Jackpot. Nice. Okay. Back to you. So this does economy times two. And also lowers the prices of everything. I guess this wouldn't be a bad thing to have. Just kind of maybe tuck it back here. Put two of them out? No. I want to go to homes. Okay. So this is basically it's just bigger than that. Okay, we'll rotate you as well. 
guess I can put it right here? Where's the front entrance? Oh no, this will actually work. I don't know. I don't know where the best place will be. I guess right here is fine. Can't put two down, that's for sure. Can I put a few more pathways? I mean, entertain see, we have nothing for entertainment. Market? To unlock this design, build four more times. Build two more times. Build two more times. Three more times. Okay, so I just gotta build them a bunch of times to unlock it. Is he gonna transform? Oh, is there one for the restroom and this? I don't I don't I don't get this. Can I actually put a pathway in here? No? I guess I just need to build more of these. Okay, not... I keep exiting out. I want to go to build. Okay, so I need three more of these things. So yeah, I guess I will put some more down. I have enough. Oh, no, I don't. I need more wood still. Good God. Okay, well, just give me the pathways. Connect this. So that's at least connected there. They have a bathhouse. They have all that stuff. Uh, you. Wait, so I can fast travel. Select a location for tra transport. Dark Cross Escape Surveyor's Hut. Yes. Oh, hey, look, I'm already right on top of a treasure. Somewhere over here. Somewhere back here. Nope, it is a ghost. Alright. It's kind of just like random on where they are. You gonna have something good? Another scroll. Uh, endurance potion? Okay, so refills this dude's stamina. Um. Or right over here. Right, right. This direction. Let's keep running. <laughs> this is an interesting way to do it. Oh, I forgot. I have a. Li I have a limited amount of stamina. I guess I can say I forgot, but no, I didn't even realize I had limit. Blue. Okay, I was like, I don't understand. It wasn't. It's not showing up. Okay, got 120. 120 wood, 100, 240. Nice. Tax time we collected seven crowns for this period. Cool. So when I'm charging these poor people that don't even have a home taxes. Like, hey, come live in my city. Now pay me taxes right now. You've only been here for an extremely short amount of time, but you must pay the taxes. <laughs> Alright. Let's head this direction. Try to get maybe one more. What's up, everybody? I'm hopping into your camp. So wait, do I have like super hops of this dude? How do I get up there? Don't know. All right, bright red. Ah, stuck. And this one's farther away than I was expecting. It's gotta be right over here. Yeah. Like, it can't be much further. Alright, treasure chest. That's really all this guy does, though. He just walks around, find treasure chest. Get some potions. Is there anything inside this house? The heck is that? Cooking pot artifact? Collection of a collective of spiritual ex echoes manifested in a tangible memory of this artifact common in ancient civilization. 
Okay, so I have to go back to talk to him again. Alright, that's I'm down. Looks like I can hop hippy hop up here too and get stuff. What the heck is this? Found a response to your touch. Do nothing. What does this do? No? Can I activate you? You said it for a second. Okay. I don't know how that helps me. Oh, I'm gonna need two people here. At least two people here. I get it. Okay, so yeah, you know what? Uh, I was gonna end it here, but let me quickly do this. Trans transport everybody here. Alright, you're both here. Badoop, badoop. I'm gonna have him stand here. Can you repair anything? I mean, she still has super hops, too. Can't repair any of this stuff? Nope. There's another button down here. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. What do these do? There's, there's two buttons. I just don't know what to do with them. I guess I just have to bring both the people in here? All right. This guy's so slow. Jump, jump around. Okay, go to the other button. I just made the treasure chest appear. I mean, it's cool, it's giving us more resources, but... What is that? A soul quartz. Filled with amplifying spiritual energies, these quartz can be used to restore ancient artifacts from their spiritual echoes. Okay. Give me all the goods. Oh, is it? I was like, how do I open this door? Right here. It's literally a switch right there. Okay, well, I guess uh, that doesn't help me too much. I was hoping to go back to town. I guess I could use that scrolls I've been picking up. Whoa. What's up, bear? I was gonna fight you guys. Is this now? Okay, well, let's go back to you. I just click on this and go back to town? Yes. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna build a couple more things and then I'm gonna call it good for now. What do we have? Let's build a couple more of these. It said we needed to build a few of them. So, might as well. Uh, rotate. Put you there. Put you there. And put you... Was it, only, was it only that? Design? I need one more. Okay. Build one more. It makes everything cheaper, so... I'm fine with that. So can I design something bigger? Yeah! Nice, we got a workshop. Increases economy by 10. That's cool. Workshop won't do... And you need more space and tools. Okay. Uh, anything else? I don't know how to increase this one. Probably need something else in there. Uh, let's choose you. House, maybe? Maybe it's tent? Nothing? Alright. Outhouse? Nope. We're gonna try to combine everything I can. Alright, farms, we need how many more? Two more to design that? Or to build that up? Housing? I still need more wood and everything. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna leave it here for now. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this, because I really like this game. <laughs> I like this style, this style of type of games, and definitely dig this. I'm intrigued to see what kind of other things, like the design thing is cool. So each one of these is one person, and this, so this does count as four people. Can I go inside? Nope. That's four people though, so if I get another one set it up right next to it, that's four more people, 
And, I mean, there are people out there that I can recruit now, so I'm sure. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave it here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.